Hello everyone, how are you today? I am very happy guys that you are listening to this episode. Uh, this is the episode number three of this podcast that, you know, it's, um, it's been created with the objective that you guys practice your listening and that you guys can um, be in contact with English at a specific moment during the, during the day, you know? Um, so again, thank you for being here. Um, I am Rainer, and today I'm going to be talking to you about a, a special topic. And I want to say special because um, yesterday I had a I had a class, and um, I I don't know I was very disappointed with my students. Um, I need to tell you that those students are uh, intermediate level, in high intermediate level, you know, um, to, to put it in context, they know how to use present perfect, <laughs> okay? Well, they should know, right? Um, so... The, the situation was this, I was applying a listening exercise and, and this, I don't know, it seemed really difficult for them, you know? I was, um, I, was looking there, I was looking at their faces and they were scared. And uh, I was scared too, because Probably it was the first time that I saw those faces on, on, on my students, on these students, you know? And um, it was very shocking for me because I thought that they will do very well on the exercise, but it didn't happen. So at the end of the class, I had a, I had a, I had a talk with, with them and I told them about why I was disappointed at them, you know, and um, I told them, you know, on my previous uh, episode of, of this podcast, I was talking about this specific moment in the, in the life of a, of a student uh, where they think that, that, they, that they got it where they think that the English that they have, it's, um, it will be enough, you know? And, um, and that's very dangerous, I was saying in my previous episode. And I told them that, you know? I told them that, I told my students that I wasn't happy about the results of that specific class, okay? Because my students are great. I mean, they are good. You know, and I just wanted to remind them that they need to continue learning English, you know, and that the process is not finished yet. So um, I want to talk to you about that today. You know, learning English is, it's, it's very hard sometimes. Learning English is, it's tiring, you know. Learning English is sometimes difficult to find the time to do it. Difficult to find the time to study. But here is where you come up with a question. And that question is, how much do I want this? How much do I want to be bilingual, right? So, learning English, guys, is like running a race. Sometimes you run fast and you feel great, you know? Maybe, be maybe because the day is amazing, you know? And, uh, and, and, and you feel good too. But other times you feel tired and you want to stop and, um, and you want to quit. But let me tell you this. Keep going keep going when you finish this race oh god you know 
you're going to have lots of doors opened in many different aspects in your life, you know, professionally talking, uh, personally talking, mm, mentally talking, because obviously you're going to be a different person, you know, and um, accomplishing uh, a goal like becoming bilingual is uh, something that needs to, to, it's something that needs sacrifice, right? So I want to ask you something. Even if you are tired, even if you feel you have no time, try to find a little moment every day to practice your English. It can be listening to a song, as I told you before. It can be watching a video, guys. That's nothing. Watching a video? Come on. You're always watching videos. So stop watching videos in your, in your uh, first language, like Spanish, for example. So move to listening to English videos. Right? And um, it's okay that you feel tired. It's fine. I mean, it, I understand it's really hard to do this. Everyone feels that way sometimes. So it's okay. But remember, you are not alone. Right? Think about the future. Speaking English will help you in so many ways. Maybe you dream about traveling around the world. Well, you're going to need English for that. Maybe you dream about being the manager of a company. Well, you're going to need English for that too. And maybe you dream about studying a master degree or a PhD in the United States. Well, you're going to need English for that. Okay? So, um, there's, there's not a, what, what, what can that be? There's not an easy way to do this. <laughs> okay. You have to leave the process. It's going to be your decision, how you leave it. Are you going to suffer the process? Are you going to enjoy the process? Are you going to be motivated during the process? Yeah. So it was just um, it was just something that I want to talk about um, about this specific topic because it's not the first time that I talk about this. You know, every time that I talk to a student, I tell them. You need to put effort to this. This is not magic. This is not something easy. That's why there are not so many people in the world speaking English. I mean, compared to, you know, the population of the world. Anyways, well, well, thank you guys for listening to me today. Sorry for these topics, you know. I promise that the next topic is going to be a little bit more optimistic, okay? So uh, continue learning, continue studying, and continue drinking coffee. See you later, guys.